I'm Fred Schneider, and you're tuned in to The Weekly Report, a look at news and insight related to programs and services provided by departments of the City of Kansas City, Missouri. The Public Works Department would like to remind residents that if you see a pothole, please report it. Kansas City winters create expansion and contraction of pavement, which in turn creates potholes. City crews maintain 6,400 lane miles of streets and repair 20 to 30,000 potholes annually. So, residents provide a great resource to the city when they report potholes by calling 311 or use the online form to report a pothole. For more information on pothole repair, visit kcmo.org slash FYIKC and click on Report a Pothole. It may be the middle of winter, but the city is already preparing for its summer interns. If you're looking for a paid summer internship, consider attending the 9th Annual Bright Future Employment Fair on Saturday, April 20th from 8.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. at UMKC's Pearson Auditorium. To learn more information, please visit kcmo.org slash bright future. Now let's check in with some of our city departments for information and insight. Hi, I'm Janet O'Hagan with the Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities, here to tell you about some exciting news and events coming up at city venues that your whole family may enjoy. For the seventh consecutive year, Kansas City's Convention and Entertainment Facilities has received a Prime Site Award from Facilities and Destinations Magazine. The city's convention center was recognized for its ideal location and impressive amenities, which include more than 300,000 square feet of exhibit space on one floor, along with its state-of-the-art meeting rooms, theater, arena, and ballroom. The 53rd Annual World of Wheels will roll into the city's Bartle Hall the weekend of February 8th through the 10th. Guests will enjoy hundreds of custom automobiles, including a tribute to the Batmobile and an exhibit featuring nostalgic race cars. For more information, please visit Autorama.com. The Lord of the Dance, a popular Irish dance show, will perform at the City's Music Hall on Wednesday, February 27th at 7.30 p.m. Created 16 years ago by Michael Flatley, Lord of the Dance produces a beautifully choreographed combination of Irish dance and music with state-of-the-art lighting and pyrotechnics. For more information or to buy tickets, please visit lordofthedance.com. To learn about events taking place at Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities, visit kcconvention.com and click on Upcoming Events or call the Convention Center at 816-513-5000. Parents love to take photos of their children and ask them to smile for the camera. Sometimes the parents and kids need help to keep those smiles looking the best. The Special Supplemental Nutrition Program for Women, Infants, and Children, which is the federal program otherwise known as WIC, is a vital service provided by the Kansas City Health Department that can help. Taking care of your child's teeth is very important. How their teeth develop helps them to chew and speak clearly. Keeping your baby's teeth healthy begins with breastfeeding. Breastfeeding promotes good dental health and the development of straighter teeth. As your child gets older, keep their teeth healthy by changing to a cup by 12 to 14 months of age, teaching them to brush often, and limiting the amount of sugary snacks and drinks throughout the day. The Kansas City Health Department's WIC program is an equal opportunity provider and participants must meet certain income and nutrition guidelines to qualify. The Health Department currently has three clinic sites. For more information on location and times, call 816-513-6360 or visit our website www.kcmo.org health. Operation Clean Sweep was recently conducted across Kansas City. It was a concentrated effort by local and federal agencies coordinated by the No Violence Alliance. 17 arrests were made and almost 50 warrants were cleared. 
we spoke with Nova Detective Jason Cramblett about what it accomplished. I would say that it was successful in the fact that we sent the community a message that uh, violence in Kansas City won't be tolerated anymore. We realized that uh, some folks won't uh, need or want help from the community and those people will be prosecuted and, and sentenced uh, according to whatever the Jackson County prosecutor can do. Uh, the other step to that is the social aspect where we can reach out to folks and help them get out of this violence cycle, um, whatever help they need. Social service aspect can cover anything from faith-based to job training to drug rehabilitation, uh, housing, anything. The good thing about it is we wanted to send a message out to the community with the sweep. Uh, right now we are developing uh, more intel into other groups and group violence and it's just the beginning. Uh, it's, gonna, it's not going to happen overnight, but if we can interrupt that violence just for a, f a little bit during the course of a summer through, you know, four or five major networks, it'll help. I do believe that the uh, community wants their help. Uh, in, in, it was explained to me by uh, Andrew Fox of UMKC. Uh, the, the models that we come up with are, it's the medicine model. How do we surgically remove that cancer from the community that's causing the most violence in Kansas City? What medicines do we do to deliver to that community and the person to stop the violence? And within that, the community wants that cancer gone, if you will. The message is clear. For those involved in violent crime, we are here to help those who seek to remove themselves from the cycle of violence. If you continue down the path of violent crime, there will be severe consequences. I'm Officer Shelley Gaddis. Welcome to the Black Archives in Mid-America, located in the historic Aiken and Vine District in Kansas City, Missouri. I welcome you to our new facility at 1722 E17 Terrace in the Old Parks Administration Building. This building was constructed between 1912 and 1916 and has a great history among the uh, historic buildings in Kansas City, Missouri. The Black Archives was founded in 1974 by Mr. Horace Peterson. He saw fit to bring the history of African Americans in Kansas City to the entire nation. So his challenge was to collect memorabilia, photos, papers, personal correspondence from those legendary people we all think about here in Kansas City. We recently opened in this new building in June 2012, and we opened our new exhibit titled With My Eyes No Longer Blind. It's a thematic exhibit and it explores the different themes and different histories in Kansas City, not just 18th and Vine, but throughout the Kansas City, really noting an American history story here in Kansas City. Uh, we had a great grand opening celebration. We had wonderful attendance, uh, well supported by area individuals, specifically the governor, Jay Nixon, Congressman Cleaver, and our, our mayor, uh, Sly James. So we're very fortunate to have the support of the city and our patrons. Uh, we pack the house on weekly base, uh, weekly events. So we're really excited about the exhibit and the different programming we have. So if you have any research that you need to do uh, that has to do with African Americans in Kansas City, the history of uh, blacks in business and sport, uh, in pol political movements, you're welcome to make an appointment here at the Black Archives and have that information pulled for you to do that research. Our hours of operation, we're open Tuesday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. We're also open by appointment. So if you have a research appointment and you can only get here on a Monday or Friday, we will open for you to make sure that you can get your research done. We're also open by, by reservation. If you have a group that needs to come in um, and it's during our off hours, we will make sure to be here and open the building and do a tour for you. You can reach us uh, on the web at www.blackarchives.org. You can also reach us by phone. Our main number is 816-221-1600. Thank you so much and we look forward to seeing you here at the Black Archives of Mid-America. The city is hosting a series of two-hour public meetings to receive input from residents on the submitted fiscal year 2013-14 budget. The remaining meetings will take place on Saturday, February 9th at 9 a.m. at Northland Neighborhoods. 
and Saturday, February 23rd at 9 a.m. at the KCPD South Patrol Division. To view the submitted budget, including line item detail, please visit data.kcmo.org. The city's fire department is recruiting new firefighters. However, this week is the last week that individuals interested in a career as a KC firefighter may obtain a job application at kcmo.org jobs and either mail or hand deliver it to the Human Resources Department located on the 12th floor of City Hall. Completed firefighter applications must be received by the Human Resources Department by Friday, February 15th at 5 p.m. For more information about this or any of today's stories, please log on to kcmo.org, scroll to the bottom right-hand corner, and click on the weekly report for links. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. I'm Fred Schneider. Have a great week.